Hey everyone, in this video, we're going to publish our first albums using On1360. Using On1 Photo Raw 2020, let's publish our first album to On1360. So inside Photo Raw, I'm going to navigate over here to my local drives. And I'm going to access one of my hard drives that I have plugged into my computer. In this hard drive, I have a favorites folder with some of my favorite photographs on it. And if I want to publish these photographs to On1360 so I can view and edit them on any of my devices, I'm just going to select the images that I want to publish. You can publish as many as you want, and you can publish them from anywhere on your computer, hard drive, local drive, SD card, anywhere those photographs live, you can publish them to On1360. I'm just publishing these photographs from this external hard drive that I have plugged into my computer. So now that I have the images I want to publish selected, I'm going to head over to my albums now and I'm going to click on this plus button. Now I'll just select create album. Then I can rename it favorites. I'll select add those selected items. And then I'll select publish to on1360. Now when publishing albums to on1360, you can modify whether you want the originals published to On1360 or a compressed version that you can still modify. So now if we head over to the left side of our screen in our albums pane, we now have that favorites album here. And with the On1360 tag here, we know that it's synced up to the On1360 cloud servers. I can also head over to this button here and it tells me that the status is up to date so that all of my photos are synced to the On1360 cloud servers. Now in these albums, I can right click any of these albums here. And let's say I want to modify the sync options. Let's say I want those originals synced to the On1360 cloud server. Well, I can just head down to the sync options and I can choose publish original files. That way, if I have any raw files, I can download those originals on any of the other devices that I own. If I want to modify or unpublish any of those albums to On1360, I can just right click and I can select unpublish. And that will unsync it from the cloud servers. Now albums aren't the only thing that you can publish to On1360. I can publish my catalog folders if I'd like. So if I want to publish a catalog folder, I'll just head over to my catalogs tab. And now I have my catalog folders and below that, I also have this On1360 pane. This is showing me all of the devices that I have synced up to On1360. And if I have albums created on those devices, I can see those albums here. But let's publish a few of these folders to On1360. I'm going to head up to my catalog folders, and I'm going to access this landscape folder. And if I want to publish this landscape folder to On1360, I'll just right click and then I'll select Publish to On1360. Now I have that On1360 badge there telling me that these photos are now synced up to the On1360 cloud servers. Then I'm going to head over and I'm going to open up this portraits folder and I'm going to go into the cinematic photographs. And I'll just right click that folder and I'll publish this folder to On1360. And we can modify our sync settings by right clicking, going to sync options, and then we can choose to publish the original files rather than having the sync previews. So if I'm using On1 Photo Mobile, I can head to my On1360 tab here. And now I can see all of those devices that I use and that are synced up to On1360. And if I go to Dylan's computer here, I have those two catalog folders here that I published to On1360.